Good evening, good evening, good evening. <coughs> good evening, good evening, good evening. Linda Woodruff, Linda Woodruff, Dinah Nicole. Dinetta Renee Brown, my sister, Katrina Jackson, hey sis, hey sis, Sharon Moore, I don't know the, the I see word, I see by black, Huncho Cran, and yes, Princess Atona, I am doing better, thank you, thank you, Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. I did end up going on to the hospital. As we can see. Well, y'all didn't see because I didn't post them hospital pictures yet. I guess I post them tomorrow for Alonzo's two-year anniversary. The one who shot me in the face. And the why I got all these plates and stuff for. And the one that I have these side effects and stuff. Yes, it looking better. They gave me some eye drops and some. Okay, let me tell, let me tell you, I got to go back to the beginning again to tell y'all how uh, happy it went down. But I know, listen, now, but this is what I want to say. It's all y'all people on here. The first thing y'all holler was eyelashes. Eyelashes, 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 eyelashes. It's so many eyelash comments or um, things on here. And I've been asking God to ask me, tell me how to say it because it, it's so. Um, and I and a lot of people didn't say it being small, you know, and no attitude. They were saying it being kind and a kind gesture, but. You couldn't possibly be knowing what's going on or be listening to what I be saying. <laughs> and all this week, we've been talking about it. We talked about it from the headache. We talked about it from feeling like a cold. We talked about it from me falling and getting a bruise in my body, aching and all this. We talked about my eye being in the socket. We talked about the prayer. We, so if you knew me, and knew my condition or my situation, then I can tell you, you would know that I'm set up different. Yeah, yeah, Miss Tracy Coleman. Yeah, so I'm going on with my eye. And so we said that it was coming from um, the pollen and all this, whatever, my sinuses and my allergies. But y'all also know that we've been praying for a whole year and talking about when I told y'all when all my bones and stuff were broken in my face, my bone grow back in my nose and it shifted. So it didn't grow back straight, so it blocked it. And then I told y'all that my eye exists between two plates. I told y'all that. And I told y'all that's where the puffiness be coming from and stuff because it don't have nowhere to drain. Just like we talk about when we don't, don't talk about them problems and they don't have nowhere to go, how they'll start affecting us on our inside, physically, then mentally. So that's where it's cold. I ain't got nowhere to go. I told y'all we went to the doctor. The doctor put the suction thing up there. When that didn't come out, remember? That's when they came up with their brilliant idea of going back in there, re-breaking my bone, going to my face, and removing my plate, or loosening it up or something. And I told them no, that they was not touching my face. And so I guess that these are side effects that I may have to deal with because of my decision, because it's blocking it off. And it's blocking it out. So if it can't drain, it's just going to be bagged up, bagged up, right? It's common sense. Where are we going with this? So an eyelash 
I've been wearing eyelashes ever since I buried my husband, which he shot himself be two years tomorrow. So what a wonderful memory. What a wonderful present. It's always summer around them dates. So my eyes swell up with mucus and I end up at the hospital or whatever. And the anniversary is tomorrow. What a coincidence. It always happens like that. Something. So, anyway, I've been wearing eyelashes for two years. So, I don't see how my eye all of a sudden would be irritated from eyelash glue or eyelash. And then, why one is eye? Or why one both eyes? Or... Or, or something. You feel me? So sometimes we need to think before we say stuff. And I know sometimes some of y'all might have been missing for a minute. And then you just come in and see something on the timeline and you make a comment. But that don't be the case. That's why I tell people stop looking at stuff and thinking you be knowing what be going on. Because that's the first thing that came to I don't know how many people mind. It's almost 2,000 likes on that picture. And I know a thousand other comments talking about my eyelash. Now, my eyelash ain't had me wheezing and could hardly breathe. My eyelash ain't had me congested. My eyelash ain't made my voice go hoarse. So, that's what I'm saying. Just pay attention. The name of the game is pay attention or we will be lost in the sauce. Now, let me tell y'all what I did and what I said because I know these things. And like I told y'all, I'm having to realize things about me and my body and my situation because it's new to me and my body and stuff has changed. So I have to be familiar with what's going on and it kind of surprised me at first or we couldn't figure it out because it has not happened since last year. And then we went and got the Sudafed. We talked about that. We talked about showing the ID for the Sudafed. We went and got the Sudafed. Okay. And then once it cleared up, the season changed. And I went on. You know, it was one time. It didn't bother me. It didn't affect me. And so now that it's summertime again, and the pollen is dropping again, and all this stuff is flying again, then I'm realizing that that may affect me every summer. Every summer. Because pollen is going to drop. Dust and stuff is going to be in the air. So that might be something that I need to take into consideration and think about that and prepare myself for when the summer comes that my eye may act up or whatever, especially if I went against what man says because this eye right here belongs to God. And especially, then you go to the doctor because y'all seen the eye. That's why I posted the picture. And then the caption said, the caption said, see, you got to read, you got to read. The caption said, I'm going to go show y'all what I be talking about. Meaning, I'm going to show you what I've been talking about. So we've been talking about it. <laughs> now I'm going to show you so you can see what I've been saying out of my mouth. Okay. So, boom, I show y'all. I take the picture. I said, I'm going to show y'all what I've been talking about. So now we go to the doctor. Now, you go to the doctor. You tell them your symptoms. They see your eye. They see your picture. They see the same pictures y'all saw. All right? Now, they do a, a COVID test. For my daughter, they do a COVID test. They do a flu test. They do a strip throat test. Okay? They slide them. I sit there wait on the results. Everything came back negative. Okay. So everything came back negative. Then I didn't have the pink eye. It's not contagious. It wasn't hurting. All right. So then next time they come in, they come in, they, they gave me two shots. I said, what them for? What them is? What them is? So one of them was steroid, a steroid shot, a steroid shot. They said it would help with my uh, inflammation. From my uh, sinuses and stuff, said so they had flared up, and that's and I guess you know by the 
baggage with it going back. And I ain't got nowhere to drain. Or drain it down to my throat. That's where the burning came from. But I still need to contact my surgical doctor. Right? But let's talk about this today. Okay. And so that's why I tell y'all. When 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 a, a situation occur, and and then you have all these symptoms or outbreaks or things or whatever, and then you go to the doctor or you go to the head, and then they don't have no explanation, they don't have no diagnosis, but they ain't never had no explanation for me and my eye. They ain't never had no diagnosis for me and my situation, because everything they've always said has been false. So when I walk in there today. Um, looking like who did it and why, you feel me? And then I get all negative results once again. That's why I tell you that it's a, it's a side effect coming from my first physical injury. And so that's something that I may have to suffer with. And so that's also a thing that, that'll play in your mind where the devil will get up there too. Then you know the, the, the man thing tomorrow, his little anniversary, his little tribute, his little whatever, you feel me? I'm doing my face like that, you feel me? And because that's the attitude you want me to take too, because I'm sitting up here laid up on the hospital bed again, two years later with my eye messed up, looking like who did it and why still because of you, mister. So, but I don't, I'm not going to take that attitude either, but still, that's how, that's how, that's how it be set up. It be little tests. It be little tricks. And they be wanting to see how you gonna stand. I ain't gonna say day. But he be wanting to see how you gonna stand during your test, during your trial. When I send something your way, I wanna see how you gonna handle it. When I send something your way, I wanna see if you gonna let your faith wave. Because I could, I could be thinking, Dog, I'm gonna have to deal with it every summer. I'm gonna have to deal with it for the rest of my life. I might need that surgery. I might need to let them folks check me out, cause that's gonna cause further problems or this or that. But I ain't even worried about that. Hey, Henry Clayton! And I had to say your name, brother, cause I ain't seen your name in a minute. And you know, I'm, I'm an old school folk been coming back on here, so I had to pop, 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 pop. Hey, da. Yeah, okay. So, but, yeah, that's what it is. And so it ain't nothing but a test. It ain't nothing but a trick. It ain't nothing but something that, that's coming up from my past and something that's coming up against me, some sickness in my body. Then you come back. I ain't even had no um, sinus infection. I didn't even have an infection. Everything came back negative. So there we go. Once again, the doctors don't, don't, don't know what's going on in this situation. So if they don't know what's going on in this situation, and that's the natural sense what it's always been, then there we go again in the spiritual. It's, it's a spiritual situation. And so we're going to handle it. We, this, we're going to fight the spirit battle. We're going to try spirit by spirit, and that's what we're going to do. And that's it. That's all. So I also wanted to come and give y'all an update and let y'all know and see what's going on. I'm going to come up a little closer. But I took my eyelashes off last night when I had saw it uh, flare up, get, get red like that and stuff. And so I took my eyelashes and stuff off last night, and then so I took the pictures well, I showed y'all this morning of how I had looked it. And that's when I was like, it was swole, you feel me? So I was just thinking about a whole bunch of pollen or dust getting in there and bagging up. And it keeps swelling up or whatever. So that's why I went on and went. See, they might have to give me a shot or, or take something out or, or drain some or something. Because we ain't going to be looking like Humpty Dumpty. Who did and why? Okay, so listen. And through that, right there, now I'm sitting at the hospital. I'm sitting at the hospital, right? Waiting on my results and stuff to come back. Boom, I get a phone call. Guess who it is? It's my baby, the little lady that we was calling that I told you I got shot in the face just like me. That the girl had gave me her number and stuff at the bingo hall. Remember I was telling y'all? She called my phone when, we was at, when I was at the hospital. And, and it, it just made my day. Because she was so excited to talk to me. And she was like, I've been watching you and I've been following you for so long. And, and, and she was just 
talking and I was just telling her how beautiful she was and all this or whatever. And then just kind of come to find out she never really spoke out about her story. You know, and I was just telling her that I help her get her testimony. You know, we can sit up and talk together and then you just leave the camera over there or whatever because it got to be heard. The lady and she shot on the same side of the face as me and everything. And every time when she was talking, y'all, this is how I know I got to reach I got to take little baby up under my wing. Cause every time when she was talking, she was like, I'm just tired of all them doctors' appointments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And see, and I was about to spaz out one time down there going to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So everything she was saying, she kept coming back like, you really do know what I'm saying. Because you really have been in my shoes. You really have experienced this. You really are still struggling with this. You feel me? And so every time she'll say so, and be like, yeah, you understand. Yeah, you, it, it just made me feel just like, oh, I got to be there for her. You feel me? Because she needs somebody who really understands. And I do. And so I thank God for that. And so I was just, look, I was up there just as happy on the um, little waiting table talking to the young lady. Couldn't even hardly get her off the phone, y'all. And she was just like, she been depressed. She, she shutting down. She can't, she can't really talk. So I told her, baby, we finna get that mouth open. And that's the one I told her. She was shot in her mouth. I mean, you know, shot her bones and stuff were broke. And her mouth and stuff were wired together. And I told y'all, my mouth and stuff was wired together. And when I look at her or hear her, I just thank God that he blessed me through that season too, through that stage, through that process, because that was a process as well. And I told y'all, even with my mouth then being wired, when I chewed, it 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 affected everything. Because look, it go from my mouth to my scent to my temple, and then we remember we had a big old lump up there on, on my temple. We didn't know what was. We had to pray that thing down. Y'all remember that? Putting that whole, all those things. I got it right here, baby, because the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. He a lie and true right then. But and remember, we used to put this on there and, and pray it down every day, baby. That lump came down up there on my temple. Sean in, but I want to do this right now because I got it in my hand. I'm sorry about comments or anything right now. This is why God told you to turn your camera. Uh, we sure did. Yep. Yep. That's why God told me to turn my camera on. That's why God told me to turn my camera on. Yeah. And people be fine. That's why I told y'all the other day you'll be amazed how many people watch you or who watch you. They might not like it. They might not say nothing, but that don't mean they weren't there. You feel me? So you got to be mindful of the things that you do and say because people are watching you, especially when you've been put in a position, a leadership position. You got to watch how you carry yourself. You got to watch how you move and stuff. So when they do meet you and see you, you be everything be lined up. And the truth be the truth and it be where it be and it is what it is. And so I want to thank God, God Almighty, for healing my face, for closing my hole up, for being faithful to me, for doing everything that he said he was going to do. Lord, you have been faithful to me. You have taken care of me. You have never left me alone or left me in any situation that I've been put in. Now, here we go. This is what we've we been talking about all year right here. Check it out. And, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for not allowing the doctors to go back in my nose and re-break my bone. I thank you for not allowing the doctors to touch my face or go back in my face and re um, um, move my bone or shift it or let it um, loosen up. Lord, I thank you for not letting them touch my face. Lord, I thank you for touching my mind, changing my mindset. 
changing my thought process. Lord, I thank you for not letting me have an idle mind, for not letting the devil get up here and dance around in my head, for not letting me sink into depression. Lord, I thank you for giving me strength enough to pick myself back up when times when I had failed. And Lord, I thank you for creating me a clean heart. You, Lord, I thank you for creating me a clean heart. Lord, whatever in here that's not of you, take it away. Take it away, Lord. I need more of you and less of me. I don't want no anger, no jealousy, no resentment, no animosity, no nothing that can hold me back or block my blessings or stop me from moving forward. And Lord, last but not least, Help me to keep my mouth closed. Help me to be quiet. Even when I have so much to say. Even when I think I'm right. Help me to be quiet, Lord. Because we can say things so fast or so quick out of anger or frustration. And it'll be the scar of the next person. And we can't take it back. And we can't take it back. So, with that, I want you to let me be slow to speak and quick to listen. And I thank you, Lord, for controlling that bullet. Lord, you let that bullet, then my whole face could have shattered. It stopped right there, Lord. You could have took my whole ear off. You could have took everything, Lord. My eye that they said was gone, Lord. You still gave it to me. That thing's still working. I can see y'all good. <laughs> they can't, oh, they can't do nothing. They can't do nothing with y'all. I might be suffering for a minute, but I'm back. You gonna, you gonna suffer anyway. You gonna suffer anyway. So I'm gonna suffer and still stand where I stand. That's what I'm gonna do with that thing right there. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna get one more. I'm gonna get one more. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. I love y'all. And so that's what I wanted to come and show my face in the place and most definitely let y'all know that all was well. All was well and all is going to be well. So like I always tell y'all, no matter what the situation may look, situation may feel like God is still in control and he's working things out and he's working things out for our good even when it don't feel good even when it don't look good we just gotta trust the process you feel me and know that it's gonna all come back together come back around full circle <laughs> Yeah, he prays him, he worked He has you in his mighty hands. He will continue to raise you up so you will be able to help others. We all have to suffer to reign with God. Amen, amen, and amen. Tomika Lowry, you know what to say. We all got to suffer. We all don't suffer. He ain't told you every day was going to be good. He ain't told you that. He did not. He even told you that the weapons was going to form. He did. He told you that. He told you that they weren't going to prosper, though. You feel me? He told you that part, too. But it's you got to remember that trouble's going to come. Weapons going to form. But it's not going to prosper. It's not going to come. It, it's not going to happen. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a test. It's a test. It's a test. It's a tip. What they be doing? It's an amber alert. It's an amber alert. It's an amber alert. It's an amber alert. Just wait a minute till the phone get through beeping. And it's going gonna, it gonna to be over. Just hold on one second. Just hold on one second. He just turning your alert thing on. He just alerting you. You feel me? So when he alerts you, he wants you to get your attention. So he got your attention. 
That's all he doing. And so with that, I want y'all to let me know how y'all feel about this good old eye. We look better. We put saline drops. That's what they gave me. They gave me a prescription for this saline drops. Some medicated uh, drops. Um, Flonase, um, air, nose thing. And then they gave me a um, prescription for some amoxicillin. They gave me a prescription for some, some cough syrup too. But when I asked for the pharmacy, the lady said one wasn't them but some rubber testing. So that was neat to hear about that. We weren't going to worry about that. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that good cough syrup, y'all. It wasn't a good cough syrup. So we ain't going to worry about that at all. So, <laughs> but we are better. And I wanted to come and make sure I let y'all know that tonight, Tonight, before we went to sleep, because tomorrow is Sunday, and we don't, we don't brag, we don't do that. We gonna make that week better than last week, and so I can't get up Sunday morning talking about the flowers and the bags on Saturday. You feel me? We ain't doing that, because Saturday gonna be down and over with come morning, like the old folks say. Come morning. Saturday going to be gone and over with. So we had to go and get this out tonight because we ain't talking about that tomorrow. Tomorrow, we on some new activities, new creations, new walks, new talks, new journeys, new everything. Tomorrow is a new day. Start every day fresh. Holding on to nothing from your past or nothing from yesterday. You feel me? So, we ain't gonna be talking about that. Come tomorrow, we gonna be talking about something totally different. And we gonna be laughing, playing, blessed, and proper. And I forgot, tomorrow, first Sunday. Y'all better go to his first Sunday. Y'all gotta get y'all communion and stuff. And first Sunday, I had almost forgot too. Cause Lonzo ain't here. So, I told y'all I let him go with his daddy, folks. And so, he's gonna do, um, his weekend. Uh, with them, and I'm here the weekend for me to deal with me, and so with that, uh, I said I, I tell my friend I can come to her church. You feel me? Because I am Lonzo, oh, and I can go visit because I can understand different pastors and churches. But I want if Lonzo with me, I want him to go to a church where he can understand. You feel me? But so he gone, so I can go. Uh, to another church. And then so she was like, oh yeah, cause you know tomorrow, first son. So I'm like, first son? I'm like, I ain't going to your church with you on no first son. I gotta go to my own church on first son. So I don't know if I'm going with her or not, but I had Miss Quarters cause my voice sound like a, a chicken. So I ain't going up playing with them folks on that microphone. So, uh, I know I, I probably still sang in the choir, but I probably don't want to. <clears throat> because my voice, I don't know, might need to. That might bring it on back, bring it on back. Bring it on back, bring it on back. On a Saturday night. Let me see. Let me see what this is. But I love y'all. Let me see. I ain't got my thing with me. So, what we're going to do, we already did that prayer. Oh, Miss Karen told me. She told me. She Text me and told me. Let me see what she's talking about for today. Sharing excitement for Christ. Sharing excitement for Christ. It was the day of prayer for the day. Never be lacking in Zed. Never be lacking. Never be lacking. You hear that? Hold on. Let me see what. Oh, that's why she says she can hear my voice doing this this lesson right here. I, I'm gonna do it for y'all. I might do it for y'all in the morning. Never be lacking in Zed. But keep your spiritual favor serving the Lord. Romans 12, 11. Never be lacking in zeal. But keep your spiritual favor serving the Lord. I'm going to do that prayer. What they say? How? No. Dear Jesus. I like this one. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do this. Dear Jesus. Please revive my excitement over knowing you. What? Please. Okay, hold on. Please revive 
my excitement over knowing you. My excitement over knowing you. See, a lot of us done got bland. A lot of us done got our, our spirits dead. A lot of us need to be pumped up, crocked up. A lot of us just sitting around, you, you know. So we need our excitement back. We need to be back on fire for God. We need to be back crunk for God. I told y'all he calling for his people. He calling his bold people. We at war and he need us. So we need to be excited. Put them cheerleader skirts on. Y'all know it's going to be sometime. Put the, put the booty shorts up and put the cheerleader skirts on for Christ. Put the cheerleader skirts on for God. We, I'm going I'm to let y'all wear them this summer. I'm going to let you wear them this summer. But they gotta be for Jesus. You better, you better, you better get a, uh, get some printed on it or some, a, a cross or something on that, that tennis skirt. Yeah. And you can wear this summer if you represent God. But he said, please help me to get my excitement back. And that is so true because sometimes we can be spiritually dead. And I can also be a witness to that because some, we, we, our prayer life will change. We don't be praying like we was praying. We don't be going to church like we were going to church. We don't be um, spreading the word like we spread the word. We don't be giving time to him like we used to. And so we get spiritually dead because we'll start back getting into the flesh and ourself anyway. But we got to get back on fire for God. You know how when you first met God, how you first became a Christian, probably couldn't get you to shut up. Now you can't say two words. It's the same way when you meet a dude or when you meet a girl. Oh, you be crunk. You be excited. You be dressing up. You be all in the mirror. You be singing around the house, flying around the house. Oh, you cooking. Oh, you doing this. Oh, yeah. Put that same energy to him. How about that? I, we need that same energy to him. Let him be your new love, your new found friend. I met him over the weekend. Yeah, God, I met, God, I, I met this nigga named Jesus. <laughs> Saturday night. Yeah. What time it is? Oh, by 8.45. It, God, I called him up and rededicated. I told him I know I was wrong. You feel? I know I was wrong. I've been doing some messed up things. I've been living wrong. You feel me? But I want you to forgive me. I want us to get back together and make this thing work. I think we can make it work if we put forth for effort. You know, we learn from our mistakes and we need to move forward. You know what I'm saying? If we just can get back together. Just give me one more time. I ain't gonna mess up this time, baby. I love you. You my forever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, take that same energy. Now, with that, I shall. And I want y'all to take that with you and let the rest follow. And so take the Lord with you and let the rest follow. Let him be your rider. Let you, you know how you and that, that dude ride around or you and that girl ride around? Ride around with Jesus. Y'all ride out and hit the freeway. You get you a cup. It just ain't going to be the, the ABC cup. You feel me? Get you a cup and ride out. You feel me? Do it like that. Do it like that. Do it like that. But we got to start back spending time with Jesus. And we got to get back excited. And the only way you get excited about somebody is you start getting to know them. Look, who is that? Ellison. Uh, Oh, Lord, Miss Ellen, you're going to be a side piece? Lord, you're going to be Jesus' side piece. <laughs> or you just holler side piece in general. In general, you feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we all have been a side piece. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, stop playing. And some of y'all that thank y'all, number one, y'all a side piece. Now, let that sink in. All right, now. Oh, Saturday night. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Now, I want y'all to take the Lord with you and the rest will follow.
Put on your full armor because we are definitely under attack. We are definitely under attack. This was a trick of the enemy. This was a throw out. This, 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 this was a, to see what I'm going to do. This was I'm going to mess with Ebony for a minute. But Ebony, Ebony messing, I ain't messing with you. I'm messing with him. You feel me? I'm messing with him. And see, he's a real man. Man. He's a real man. And he don't play by his woman. You feel me? So I didn't even have to do that about you or to you because he handled it. He handled the whole situation. All I had to do was walk in the doctor's office. That's all I had to do was pull up and sign my name. That's all I had to do. He handled the rest, you feel me? And then got me out looking the best. <laughs> I tried to rhyme on this for, on the good Saturday night, and I don't go to trip. Y'all know that I tried to get me a rap in that. But, yeah. So, I thank y'all for letting me share. Because sharing is caring. Now, I want y'all to say our prayer and sleep with the angels. I love you. I love you. And I love you.